you guys welcome back anava fam welcome back to my channel before we even get started don't mind this that's on my sweater this is my makeup from earlier and i did not feel like changing my jacket i was like whatever anyways we're gonna go ahead and get into this video this video is going to be a review slash well just a review it's the As Seen on TV product. I've been meaning to purchase it for a while. It is called the Derma Suction. I found this at Walgreens for $20. Um, I've been meaning to get this for a while because I usually use like this little metal rod thing to get like the crevices here, like any of like the whiteheads or anything um, on my nose. I usually use the little metal thing that you've just like Kind of rub along but it kind of hurts so i am about to do my review on this so without further ado actually before we get started don't forget to like comment share and subscribe follow me on instagram anava Shade, snapchat avana underscore s tiktok at vana solomon and i am doing a q a i say this in every video until i get enough questions i can't do the q a so if you guys have any questions that you want to know about me um, any questions that you want answered, please, please, please put it in the comment section down below. Any video suggestions, comment section down below. But we will go ahead and get started. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and open it. Now, I won't lie, I did open it already. I did not test it out yet. I opened it because I just, I'm nosy and... No, the real reason I opened, opened it was to see if I needed batteries, which you do need batteries for it. They are not included. You need two AA batteries. So I did put the AA batteries in there. Um, but pretty much this is what it looks like. It comes with four interchangeable suction heads. They have a small head for gentle suction, perfect for everyday use. A large head, strong suction, perfect for blackheads. A oval head which is an oval opening for getting into corners of nose and mouth. That's probably what I'm going to mainly use. I don't know which one that is. Oh, that's that one. Yeah, because I always be needing to get like in the crevices of my nose and whatnot. So, and then, and then the silicone hell, the silicone hell, make me stop. The silicone head which helps absorb grease and dirt from the skin using gentle suction. So, we are gonna go ahead and get started. Um, oh, and then after, I believe it doesn't want you to exfoliate after. So I am gonna just put on this, I don't think that this would count as exfoliating cause it's not like a scrub or like anything soapy. It's the Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask. So I think I'm gonna put this on after um, and then I use my mask brush and then wash that off, lotion, and then I'm good to go. Um, I don't want this video to be super long, so I'm gonna try to breeze through this. Um, but I don't know how to start. I don't know if I put water on my face. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if I just put it on my face dry. I highly doubt that. That sounds uncomfortable. But let's see if it has directions. And again, this is an As Seen on TV product. You know those products. It's a hit or miss, you guys. Hit or miss. So, it's telling me how to install the battery. I already did that. All right, so start by opening up your pores. You know what, let me move you guys so you guys can, you know, really be in on the action. Oh shoot, oh Lord, I don't wanna drop y'all in the toilet. Okay, so you guys can really be in on the action and see what I'm doing. Y'all, I should have changed this cause this isn't cute. So y'all can really be in on the action and see what I'm doing. So. Start by opening up your pores by washing your face with warm water, steam, or a hot, wet towel. All right, we're gonna do the warm water because I don't have a steamer and I'm not doing a hot towel. See the lady in the photo, she's just very relaxed, open pores, ready for dermal suction. 
Alright. Open up my cord. I gotta be like the lady. Bro, I kinda look like her though. So I think my pores are pretty open. Don't know how to be the judge of that, but they feel like they're open. Y'all, like my whole shirt is just, this is becoming too much just for me to do my face. Anyway. Mm, okay. Make sure to dry, to dry face and hands completely before moving on to next step. I gotta go dry this, I'll be back. I'm back. Step two. Select your desired suction head. I don't know if you guys could really see. This one is the, can y'all? I don't know how to focus that, but there we go. This one's the oval one to kind of see it. So this is supposed to get like in here, in here. Okay. This is sucking a lot more than I want. Like it's a little bit more intense than I'd like. Okay, stuff is coming out. Oh, okay, this kind of hurts. Oh my God. Okay, maybe my nose is capable of being red. Y'all, I'm kind of scared. Oh, I'm not supposed to use this on this part. I'm just supposed to use the corners. Okay. Okay, stuff is definitely coming out. Okay, this is kind of gross. Y'all yeah, can see it's coming out too. Yeah, this is kind of gross. <laughs> I'm not gonna get too close where you guys can actually see everything. There's other YouTubes for people that actually want to see blackheads. And where your heads come out. Alright, so right now it is. I didn't even think my skin would get red, but my like right here is kind of red. There is definitely stuff coming out. Um I really don't wanna like gross you guys out, so I'm not gonna like put this all in the camera, but it's working so far. So I'm going to go ahead and finish like the corners and then I'll come back when I change the suction heads. Um, so I'm using the bigger pore cleanser now. And this is just going to be for the rest of my face. All right, you guys. So I am back. Okay, so my skin is not super, super sensitive. It's just slightly sensitive. Um, so there is a little bit of redness around my nose area. Everything else, like it was a little bit of redness when I was first doing it, but it's fine now. It's just right here. Since those, that is my most sensitive spot of my skin does feel a little slightly irritated. Um, but not, nothing too bad. My face feels very, very dry after doing all of that. Um, but pretty much what I'm going to do now is... Now it did say before and after do not exfoliate um, or use any scrubs. This is a mask. Um, I think I'll be fine, you guys, if I break out or something happens with my skin, best believe I'll make another video letting you guys know. Do not add a mask on afterwards because this is gonna happen, blah, blah, blah. blah. But I think I should be fine because my skin is not very, very sensitive. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that because I do want my skin to be very, very soft right now. Um, and then after I put this on, I'll put just my regular facial lotion on and I will be good to go. So 
we're gonna go ahead and get started if you guys are not familiar with this i did do a video with the watermelon um glow sleeping <laughs> it's not a cough it's a sneeze i don't know if that's a symptom anyway um watermelon glow sleep mask so i'm gonna go ahead and get this on my face because you know why not why not do two products in one and this smells so good it smells like this is my real watermelons it smells like artificial watermelon so i have covered my face i'm gonna leave this on leave it on for about 10 minutes and then i will come back with you guys and we will wash this off and that will be the end of the video all right you guys i am back it has been 10 minutes so i'm gonna go ahead and wash this off of my face and give you guys my review of the derma suction product Okay, you guys, I need to learn how to wash my face without getting it all over me. Anyways, so, honestly, and I don't want you guys to think that, like, I can't give an accurate review because I put on that face mask. Because I know how that face mask feel when I'm just doing the face mask just on my skin and not using the dermosuction. There is a huge difference. Like... Don't get me wrong, the watermelon face mask is very, very smooth. Like, it makes your skin very, very smooth. But right now, like, it feels super, super smooth. And I can feel that my pores are clean, if that makes sense. Like, yeah. Um, the redness, it is a little slight bit of redness, but it's not too, too bad to where it's like, girl, you looking like Rudolph the Red Nose Rant. No, it looks fine. Um, it is a little bit of sensitivity up in here, but again, I did say that that was my, um, that was my sensitive spots. And this is my most troublesome area because I do tend to have like a lot of whiteheads here. So I went, over this a little bit more than I did the rest of my face but I would have to say that I would give this product a 10 out of 10 um and I say that to say this there's literally four different silicone heads for different things that you can use it for and they have two settings so if you don't want it to suck up too much you can always do medium and it has like a great pull like the suction it actually it's not like a little five dollar cheap little vacuum thing and nothing barely comes like stuff really comes up i didn't want to show you guys because it's a little gross and i'm pretty sure you guys like got a little glimpse of it when i was doing it earlier but um i definitely would recommend so again it is a 20 dollar product um they sell it at walgreens it's in the as seen on tv section it is called derma suction it's in this box um does not come with batteries so you have to get two double a batteries for it which i mean come on i'm pretty sure you got batteries in your house but yeah so that is my review on this product don't forget to like comment share and subscribe follow me on instagram anava Shade, snapchat avana underscore s tiktok at vana solomon and I'm doing a Q&A. Any questions that you want to know about me, comment section down below. Future videos, any suggestions, comment section down below. I thank you guys for tuning in. And until next time, bye.